So we'll continue. We said, um, in budget 2021, the price of a 20 pack of cigarettes goes from 13.5 to 14. Cigarettes are classified as demerit goods, and as such, their purchase constitutes a market failure. Explain your understanding of the economic term demerit goods. So for demerit goods, these are goods that are harmful. Their consumption, when you consume them, they are, they are harmful to your health. That's why I call them demerit goods. So I wrote, demerit goods are goods that their consumption causes harm. And as a result, are socially undesirable. It's socially, the society doesn't want it because it is harmful. So cigarette, for cigarettes, cigarette is a demerit good that smoking could lead to damage of the lungs. So that's why it's a demerit good. It's a clear. Yeah. So go to the next question, please. Question B. Explain why the purchase of demerit goods such as cigarettes is seen as a market failure. The purchase of cigarettes are considered as a demerit goods because they damage the smoker's health. And not only that, they also produce negative externalities to those who, so who are within that environment, which is damage to uh, secondhand smoke. We call it secondhand smoke. So it means it damages the smoker's health and does not, it doesn't end there. It also affects those that are, so, that are within that environment. So that, we call them secondhand smokers. Mm -hmm. So it, it causes harm to them too, and that is externality, yeah. so negative externality. They are not, it is not their action, but it is the smoker's action, but now it's becoming a cost to the third party. So that is why it's a demerit good and ex market failure. Is it clear? Then the next one. Explain why the Irish government intervenes by imposing higher taxes on cigarettes in budgets. Oh, question. Okay, yeah, we choose one anyway. Yeah. B or C. Do you want me to explain it all? Yeah. Okay. So go to question B1. Who might figure one? Okay. Technology retailers misled, mislead shoppers with Black Friday deals. A survey of before and after pricing shows that many products are not discounted as claimed. You know, for Black, Black Friday, it's like it's a discount. But based on the case study, based on this extract, they said before and after survey, of the price, they find out that the prices are not discounted. Mm -hmm. So now they said, explain why misinformation to consumers. The, explain why misinformation to consumers by technology retailers represents a market failure in this industry. There's, when there's misinformation, you know, when there's what we call asymmetric information, which means an, uh, an individual or an agent has more information than another. So when you have more information about what we are, our transaction, you have more information than me, it is an asymmetric information, which means there's information gap between you and I. Do you understand? So that is a market failure because you have more information that you are keeping that I don't know. And that might make me to act in a way that I'm not supposed to act. So I will, be, I will, I will behave irrationally because I don't have access to the information that you have access to. So here I wrote, misinformation to consumers implies that technology retailers have kept information from, from consumers about pricing, which allows consumers to behave irrationally. So because there's asymmetric information, I might overconsume because I think, I, you know, sometimes you overconsume a product because you think the benefit of the product is high and you underconsume some product because you think the benefit is less. So you, you are lacking information yes. that allows you to behave the way you behaved. So that is asymmetric information. Is it clear? Yeah. So misinformation is also information gap, which is asymmetric information. The woman figure two. They said, explain how government intervention in this market could address this market failure. So government intervention could come in form of increased public awareness. You know, it's about misinformation here, right? Customers are not, do not have access to information. That's why the retailers are selling to them at a price that consumers feel that it's a discounted price. Meanwhile, it's not a discounted price. Do you get the point or not? Mm -hmm. Discount means deduction in the price of what you are purchasing. But customers on Black Fridays, they feel that they are buying a product at a reduced price. Meanwhile, they are not buying it at a reduced price. But they don't know because they don't have access to information. Mm -hmm. So government must intervene. So government intervention could come in form of increased public awareness. As this means consumers will have more access to information. So they don't have information before, but now with government intervention, by maybe creating consumers or citizens' websites that give information about prices, that might allow consumers to have more information. So if businesses, say they, if businesses 
claim they give, uh, they give discount. Consumers would know if discount is given or not. Do you understand? That is government intervention there. So government must increase public awareness about prices. Is it clear? And the last one. Explain an example, explain, giving an example, one advantage of government regulation. Government regulation could be consumer protection rights, could be competitive, uh, competitive policy. There are different government policies that government could use which could bring about regulation. So here I, I'm going to talk about consumer protection rights. So I said, government regulation, this is the use of state power, that's government power, to influence firms' decisions regarding pricing and production. So therefore, one benefit of government regulation is that it checks the excesses of firms. And this may result to welfare maximization for consumers. So this is consumer protection right. Government will protect consumers, maybe against price. So businesses will not be able to charge a higher price on them. So that is government regulation. Yeah. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Any question about that? Mm -hmm. So that ends market failure.